Hey guys, welcome back to the Colcom Podcast. I'm Jeff. And I'm Rose. Hey, today we're going to look at yet another one of the topics that would be discussed at Colcom. What's our topic today? Diets. So diet. food. Food. So yeah, diet. Yeah. So diet is like a big umbrella of stuff. I'm sure we're going to go into it in more detail. What's our first question? Talk about what you have eaten today. Ooh. Um, so right now we're filming in the morning. I have not eaten yet. Oh gosh, aren't you hungry? I'm a little hungry. I was when I was coming here. I was going to stop by McDonald's for breakfast, um, but then I just had a change of mind, mm -hmm. uh, and I wanted just to make sure that today went well, so I didn't eat. Okay, I'll, I'll eat once I'm done. And yourself, have you eaten? Uh, usually, I have a light breakfast, mm -hmm. um, but today I went and got the triangle kimbap. Okay. And got some coffee. Okay, yeah. Oh, I have had uh, an energy drink, so that's what I'm running on. Mm. Um, number two. Have you ever been on a diet? If so, how long did you stay on it? Good. So yeah, uh, I get the uh, diet means like a special like eating regime, I guess. You know, yes. Eating method of like selective food to lose weight. Uh, while well, like in English, we would just, diet just means what food you eat. Exactly. But like in this sense, it's more of the, the detailed uh, like diet to lose weight. Kind yeah. Of stuff. Um, have I ever been on a diet? I, I was, I was, I did diet. So um, it lasted probably two years. So what I would do, I was actually making a lot of food at home. Mm -hmm. So it would be like, uh, I was actually eating a lot of chicken breast and vegetables. Healthy. Yeah. And salad. I would have like salad. So it was all the healthy stuff. No, I wasn't drinking any cola. It was basically the diet was I just removed all the junk food from my life. Good. Yeah. yeah. Why did you stop? Uh, well, it's uh, my gym closed for because of COVID. Uh -huh. So and then you know, the whole COVID thing. And then so I didn't really have a reason. I couldn't really work out and I didn't really have a reason to eat healthy. And it was kind of a sad period. So I just fell into my old habits. Domino effect. One thing happened. One mm. another thing happened. Um, have you ever been on a diet? Um, not by choice. Okay. A lot of it has been because of um, any health issues. Okay. So specifically acid reflux. So when you eat a lot of oily mm -hmm. or drink a lot of caffeine and your stomach starts burning and coming back up, sure. the acid comes back up. I've had to switch my diet. So um, remove caffeine, remove alcohol. Okay. And that's not to lose weight. Yeah. That's just what I had to switch what I eat. So that was like a doctor's advice? Yes, okay, absolutely. So. And this has been happening for so long. So if I lose weight, it's not intentional. Right. No. Yeah, I, I've, yeah, I've only been on a diet by choice, but I guess you, you've you been encouraged to go on a diet to change mm -hmm. your habits. Strongly encouraged. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so sad. Yeah. Uh, number three, uh, what kind of food do you like to eat on a cheat day? So mm. normally like when you're being healthy on a diet, you... You allow yourself to have one day a week to have whatever you want to eat. So, um, definitely it would something sugary. Yeah. So cake or even donuts. Oh, I haven't had a donut in so long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it would be something sweet. Uh, when I was when I was very healthy, I, I think my cheat day food is oh i always pizza is a great one mm -hmm. just that combination combination of all that stuff together it, it just and just greasy it makes me feel like yeah that was that was the one thing i did all this hard work for one for six days of the week and then my one day that i can relax pizza would be the thing i would want to shove in my face there's something warm and comforting mm -hmm. about pizza yeah especially it's a great hangover food so <laughs> i'm not a fan of cold pizza i usually heat it up okay yeah so i would heat it up and then have it the yeah. next day yeah oh, all that fat and the cheese and the sauce and yep. the bread. <laughs> oh. getting hungry <laughs> yeah yeah i am yeah i am oh <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so what is the best way to diet um the best way to diet is well it's so again this is like to lose weight to try i, I guess yeah let, we're just gonna say diet is eating healthy and lose weight mm -hmm. um the best way is not to jump into it too quick mm -hmm. to slowly enter it like slowly do it like so take baby steps 
And so if you're going, if you want to get healthier, you know, change, shop for your food, you know, don't exercise too hard, gradually introduce the diet to your life instead of actually just jumping full in. Absolutely. The, the number one thing I think to lose weight, if you want, mm-hmm. would be cutting calories. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, don't do it mm-hmm. right away. So yeah. don't jump from like two 2000 a day down to like a thousand. That would be ridiculous. Yeah. So gradual. Yeah. Like, yeah. Don't count the calorie. Like, just actually try to do it mm-hmm. before actually you get into the science of doing it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Does that makes sense. Yeah. Because yeah. if you're counting calories, then you're going to, you're already be, you're already setting yourself up mm-hmm. too. And you're kind of putting up li- marker blockers and limitations. So, like, going, okay. Well, I can only have 100, uh, 1,500 calories if I need to lose weight. So then you're doing all the math and you're just going to fail if you do it that quickly. Yeah, you're mentally putting too much energy. Mm. You should go off a feeling. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Number five, what kind of diet would you recommend to your friend? Um... Cutting back on sugar. Okay. Um, as well, that, that's the stuff I like to eat on cheat mm-hmm. days. Mm-hmm. But I think there's just too much sugar mm-hmm. in food these days. Mm. It. I think if you would want to lose weight, mm-hmm. sugar. So I've heard so many of my friends that lose weight just by cutting out mm. soda. Yeah. Because there's just so much in it. Do you drink uh, soda, carbonated beverages? No. Yeah. No. Uh, that's the advice I would give someone if they wanted to lose weight too is, yeah, cutting out soda sugars. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this uh, is kind of bro science. I don't know if it's actual fact, but mm-hmm. it works. But yeah, cutting it out because a lot of uh, uh, carbonated beverages have uh, high fructose corn syrup. And because this is a new type of sugar, our bodies aren't actually uh, developed yet to break it down. So when it enters our bodies, it can't use it because it's a new, t- it's a science sugar. Mm-hmm. So our body will just convert it into fat and then use that. Well, like w- natural sugars, your, our bodies can break that down quicker. So we can use it and it won't be, uh, it won't be stored, changed into fat. Absolutely. No, I've definitely heard that. Uh, natural sugars like in fruit mm-hmm. is perfectly fine. Yeah. But then there's all this processed artificial stuff yeah. that just quickly accumulates yeah. in so, your body. Yeah. So you have to uh, avoid, you, I, uh, be attracted to natural stuff, but avoid artificial stuff. Yes, agreed. Yeah. Um, Do you eat a lot of small portions or a few large portions of food each day? Okay, so this comes down. I guess I could address this in uh, meals. So usually I have two meals a day. Oh, me too. Yeah, yeah. So that's usually, funny. yeah, I'll usually have you know a lunch and a dinner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's so, funny. Yeah, same. Most people I know have those three meals. Yeah, they get gotta have that breakfast, gotta have the lunch, the dinner. But mm-hmm. um, these days it's been yeah. Two meals, maybe a light breakfast, mm-hmm. oatmeal, mm-hmm. but then larger lunch, larger dinner. Okay. So, yeah, I'll have like two meals. Maybe I might have a snack or, you know, something from the store between those two big meals. But mm-hmm. that two meals is enough to do me for the day. Good. Yeah. Though I would say in general, even though it is a big meal, mm-hmm. I eat smaller portions than other people. Right. I think I'm just conscious of, <laughs> again, my stomach and the whole health thing. Okay. And almost I'm a little hesitant oh, really? to, yeah, kind of okay. eat a lot of stuff. To overeat? Yeah. Oh, no. I love going, if, I, if I'm if i having two meals a day, one, if one of those meals can be like an all-you-can-eat buffet, <laughs> I, I would be ha- totally happy. Mm-hmm. I don't so care about portion size. <laughs> what would be your choice? Like Ashley's or like you're talking about oh, no. like. Well, like, like uh, not Ashley. I hated Ashley. Actually, it made, <laughs> it made me sick. But like there's like uh, uh, Mujahan like gogi chips. Oh, um, yes, yeah, yes. So those are, those are good. Like some gasal and mm-hmm. uh, galbi, uh, galbi, wangdan galbi and all that stuff too. Mm-hmm. Meat. Oh, anything. If you got, you say infinite meat, I'm mm, there. Yeah. Great. <laughs> uh, do, 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 uh, number seven. Uh, do you think people in uh, from your country usually eat healthy foods? I have a simple answer to this. America? No. Mm. <laughs> Unfortunately, because of the education system, I feel like a lot of people don't eat healthy food. 
Yeah, it's even uh, it's. I think yeah, the education. I I heard in like one in like one state in this uh, that they pizza they considered or they considered uh, like ketchup. As a, a vegetable source of the daily vitamins. <laughs> oh my God. I've heard that too. Yeah. It just blows my mind because it's sugar. Yeah. There's just so much, as you said, the high fructose corn syrup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, in Canada, I think how I would, I, I would say the, the population is divided 50 50. There's 50 people that just eat garbage, junk food all the time. And then there's the 50, the other 50% that are very conscious of, uh, the food that they're putting in their bodies. Mm -hmm. Like, because there's a, a huge, uh, vegetarian and vegan culture that exists in Western culture. So, uh, that like there is a, like a good amount of people that are conscious and actually eat healthy. Mm -hmm. While the other ones just like on whatever, whatever tastes good. <laughs> if it doesn't put some salt on it. Yeah. I mean, it is changing and there are people who there's more and more health food stores mm -hmm. popping up in America. So mm -hmm. there are people who are trying to fight the system in yeah. a way. Um, but unfortunately, because of just knowledge mm -hmm. and time and mm -hmm. money, mm -hmm. a lot of people can't eat healthy. Yeah. It's, yeah b people are very busy. So like instant food, yes. microwavable food is very popular and it's not the healthiest stuff on the market. Mm hmm. Right. Uh, what are some things about the eating habits you want to change? So my eating habits. I I would like to act, cook food more often in my home, um, but the problem is I live alone. So it's if I do cook, I may the portion size is too big, so I just end up not cooking as much as I want to because I just don't want to put keep all these portions in the fridge have leftovers. So I would like to change that. Uh, but I'm too lazy and eat less junk food. And again, as we said, time. Time. You really need time to cook. Well, I have time, but it's just, it's just I just uh, it because uh, the portion sides are always much larger than I I really want for one sitting. I have to I choose not to cook for myself. Uh, how about yourself? What would you like to change? Um, I'm pretty happy with the stuff that I'm eating these mm -hmm. days, but. Now that you said cooking, yeah, mm -hmm. I do love being able to monitor and control what actually goes in my food. Right. So having that and more vegetable options mm. is w another reason why I yeah. would cook. I think uh, I I joked around with someone, but it's like, uh, uh, being here, I don't eat a lot of fruit and vegetables. Most of my diet is meat-based. mm because that, like, that's the savory. It fills me up a little bit better than mm -hmm. actually than just, you know, a bowl of rice. And there's so many options yeah. to have meat. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we have number nine. Uh, do you think that a person's eating habit affect how long they live? Absolutely. I mean, it's proven that Japan has the longest um, expectancy, life expectancy. Mm -hmm. And they're saying or guessing it's because of fish. Okay. So at least that's what I've read on the internet. Yeah. That they have just a different diet. So that's why people in Japan live longer. Mm hmm. Uh, I think, yeah, someone's eating habits. So, like, if what's happening, yeah, in the States, there's, yeah, obesity is a big problem. And that uh, really affects someone's uh, lifespan. Mm hmm. And if they're not eating a health, if they're very obese, that the, it causes, uh, problems with the body. The heart, the their lungs, everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Again, snowball effect, domino yeah. effect. Yeah, mm. over time. Yeah, and yeah. I, so I, yeah, in a sense, yeah. I did. Someone's eating habit. If someone's an overeater, yeah, they're gonna probably not have a full life expectancy than a regular healthy person. But then th I feel like there's also other contradictory th stories I've heard okay. as well. I've heard a story of a man in Korea who ate ramen mm -hmm. for most of his life mm -hmm. and lived until in, in his 90s. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, is it just about your body metabolism? It's about it, genetics probably too. What's ha what some people don't realize too is like, like Korea, though there's like a, everyone's like very slender mm -hmm. and uh, not fat. Like there's a high level of diabetes too, type 2 diabetes. Oh, I didn't know that. Because uh, the, re the, the carbohydrates and the sugar too. Oh. <sighs> So even though the, like most of their diet is like rice based, the carbohydrates and the sugar 
like uh, offset, like for type two diabetes. So oh. it's like a, they a, in America, if someone's fat, mm-hmm. you know, obviously they're they're more prone to diabetes. But here, it's like the diet also affects them too, and they could catch diabetes as well. Yeah, I feel like that needs to be talked about more. Mm. I didn't realize that was a thing. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and so you you see like people kind of like dying from diabetes, and they just look skinny. You oh, know, that's blowing my. You're yeah. blowing my mind right now. Oh, it's well, it might be. It's uh, I've been I I've been told this too, but I don't know if it's a scientific fact. I haven't seen any documentation on it. Oh, okay. So it's just word of mouth. I've been told this. Oh, uh, number ten. Mm-hmm. Um, do you eat delivery food often? Why or why not? Do you not like? It? I actually don't eat a lot of delivery food. Mm-hmm. I again, I'm just very conscious about uh, what's going into my body, mm-hmm. and a lot of delivery foods very greasy. And mm-hmm. even though I love it, I love mm-hmm. the taste of it. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's one reason. Other reason is money. Okay. <laughs> I just the delivery costs and everything. I go like, well, I could just go outside and right. buy that. So myself too. I don't you know have a lot of delivery uh, for. A Maybe some dip. Well, money is one thing. The portion size is too. Mm-hmm. Um, so again, just being by myself, I don't want to order delivery because I don't want too much food in my house that I'm not going to eat in one sitting. Another reason I don't order delivery is I don't like talk. I, I I don't like actually talking on the phone and ordering the food. Oh, okay. Yeah, but like, it's all on the app now. I don't, I, well, uh, my app, my phone is not linked to my name, so I can't do it on the app. You know, the Korea has the whole, uh, you have to have the, the phone number has to match the owner's identification. Mm-hmm. And I don't have, it's under, it's not under my name. So mm-hmm. I can't set that, I can't set up the delivery apps anymore. Oh, geez. And yeah, they used to have the books yeah. that you could call the numbers and yeah. see everything, but now everything's digital. Yeah. So I, I don't, I, I think, uh, last time I had delivery was maybe three years ago during COVID. Oh my gosh, that long ago. Yeah. The only time I'll do delivery food is like events, like mm-hmm. a party or something mm-hmm. like that. So when everybody gathers, then you figure out what everybody yeah. wants. Mm-hmm. You're talking, you're right. chilling, and then you wait for the food. Yeah, if I'm with a group of people, yeah, I'll I'll have delivery then because I'll just say, okay, but you use your phone because I can't <laughs> use mine. <laughs> I'll pay you back. I'll pay you back. Okay. Well, that just that concludes the topic of diets, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you have further questions about Colcom, you can visit them on their website at colcom.co.kr. I've been Jeff. And this is Rose. Bye-bye. Take care.